The Carolinas rank in the top 25 nationwide for the most lightning strikes in this week's weather IQ. Meteorologist KJ Jacobs explains what you can expect when lightning strikes. I'm in Kannapolis, the lightning capital of North Carolina, just north of Charlotte. In 2022, Kannapolis had more lightning events than any other city in the Tar Heel State. Lightning is a spectacular weather phenomenon. It goes viral when captured on camera. June, July, and August account for more than 75% of the yearly lightning strikes in North Carolina. A positive lightning strike is typically 10 times brighter, 10 times stronger, 10 times louder. Positive lightning bolts originate from the top of the thunderstorm, which allows them to be powerful and deadly. 90% of lightning strikes are negatively charged and tend to branch out. On radar, the frequency of lightning strikes can signify a storm is intensifying or weakening. And we hear thunder when the air expands and contracts due to its intense heat. Because light travels faster than the speed of sound, you will see lightning before you hear thunder. Thunder can be heard about 10 miles away from the apparent storm. And if you can hear thunder, you are close enough to be struck by lightning. Do not shelter under trees or open structures. Do not touch electronics plugged into the wall and do not use running water. If you ever at a ball field like this one in Kannapolis, the 30-30 rule can help keep you safe. If you hear thunder within 30 seconds after seeing lightning, go indoors. Stay there for at least 30 minutes until the last sound of thunder. In Kannapolis, a meteorologist, KJ Jacobs, WCNC Charlotte.